All right, now let's look at how you would create your own exception. So perhaps you don't want to read in any negative values and you want to create an exception to handle just that. So what you do is you create this class called negative value exception and you want to inherit from any class that is a subclass of throwable. So in this case, I'm using the class exception and you want to include two constructors. One is the default constructor, which accepts no argument. And the other is one that can accept a string message. Now to throw the exception, you just need the keyword throw and you throw the exception. So in this case, I would check for any values that are less than zero and then I'll put the um, throw new and then my new negative value exception object. And down here is my catch for that, my handler, and it gives some output messages. All right, so let's test this class out now. So I wanna write java read 10 ints, no negatives. And then I want to give it some input with negative uh, ints. So test negative.txt is the text file that I made with negative numbers. And as you can see, it caught the negative value. And it says, please make sure no negative values are in the input text file. And that about wraps it up for Java exception handling. If you want to do more reading, go ahead and go to the Oracle Java tutorials lesson on exceptions, which is right here. Well, I hope you learned a lot and thanks for watching.